Hello and welcome to RP Photography by Design and don't forget the by Design. So what have we got for you today? Well we've all been in that situation, we're out on location, we want to keep our kit light but we would like a beauty dish. Uh, I don't know about you uh, but hunting around for a beauty dish that works with a flash. Uh, I tend to use small flashes so this is uh, the FL600R uh, for the Olympus range of cameras beautiful flash, a professional flash and um, it is a lot smaller compared to a normal flash size so you can see there again all swivels around uh, but putting this onto beauty dishes you find on the high streets or uh, they do that attached onto the end can sometimes be quite difficult because of the size of the head uh, and I've actually not come across a beauty dish that's portable that I can uh, just throw in the car over my shoulder and we can go out on location for any kind of flash that is until now. So I've just had this sent me out um, and this is the Rapid box from uh, Westcote. Um, a beautiful soft box uh, that also doubles up as a beauty dish and I will show you the trick behind that. Very fast to put together so let's dive in we'll have a quick look obviously Nice box, uh, it comes in three ranges, the 20 inch Octa, um, the 26 inch Octa and you can get a 10 by 24 strip. Uh, this one we're going to look at today is the uh, 20 inch Octa. Um, I do um, have the 26 inch as well which I'll do another video on that to compare the sizes against them. The thing I do love about this is the detail they've gone into it. And they've actually thought about um, it, it needs to be portable. I mean, would you believe everything is in this bag? How cool is that? So, very light, very portable. It can be up in minutes. And what we're going to do, I'm, uh, I'm using a Manfrotto um, stand. Uh, this is an air cushion stand. Very light, very portable, and it packs up quite flat as well. So. One of my favourite choices for just strapping onto the back of my camera bag. If I'm doing an engagement shoot, I'm going into uh, the woods or urban environments, it, it's perfect to use. So, comes in a couple of bits. Obviously, this is all out of the box, so you can see me putting up as it comes. A little plastic sleeve. That's the main bracket part. So, what you would do is literally you unscrew turn it around. Now again I've just modified this very slightly just for my needs but I will give you a full uh, close up and run down. It normally just comes with one flash bracket but what I've done is I've added another flash bracket onto the back but upside down and this is going to put my uh, trigger on. So I will show you how I do this. So we'll just pop that on like that. Uh, we're all good to go there. Then we will get the main part out. So that's how it comes when you pull it out. It's, uh, it looks like something or nothing. Basically on the back there's a, a little button and there's a, a little metal catch. You just pull this around, press the button in and then it locks into place. So that's going to be the main part of your uh, bracket to build it up. We will spin this around so you can see how it goes on. So from this all you would literally do, so you've got um, a little screw here that goes up and down, there's a little notch, you basically select what height you want to put it at, screw it in and then the notch sort of falls flush into place. And we'll just uh, we'll lock it off there. That looks good. Okay. Now for me, um, I like to shoot um, with pocket wizards. So my little uh, mod is just one of the little cables with the hot shoes on it. You don't need to use this because obviously if you're using um, the own camera built-in flash where you're triggering it yourself, so you'll be facing that towards the camera then you can just slide it straight on and adjust the length so it fits in. Uh, but for myself, I, I like to use these. So all you do with this 
is you slide it to, onto the actual hot shoe, fix that in place, then the FL600R will literally go straight onto that, it screws, uh, it uh, locks into place, you see how the head's gone inside the back there, so it's all nice and enclosed. Then I've got a pocket wizard, simply attach the pocket wizard, plug it in, and I just then pop it on the back and then we can tighten that up so that's not going nowhere so we've got the basic set up a pocket wizard and a flash is all set up brilliant stuff right then on to the actual box itself so you literally undo it and you can see it's uh, got a little uh, sort of twisty ball there's two red dots you need to keep the two red dots straight so when you push it on and it is a bit uh, fiddly when you first get used to it, it locks into place. It's, it's a little twist you need to do and then it just locks that into place. So you can see that we've now got this beautiful uh, beautiful soft box, everything's all nicely uh, compact, very small, but we all know with, um, with a beauty dish we need that deflexer in there. This, is, this is actually is a separate part you need to buy. It's a little deflector and it basically just screws into the centre into the centre when I can get it in there. And there you go. So now we've got this lovely beauty dish. Beautiful, reflective. We've got uh, the flash at the back there. The flash is going to go straight through to there bounce off the reflector and then it'll give a nice even distributive light. But it doesn't stop there because if you're out on location and you don't want to use it as a beauty dish, you can obviously use it as a, a mini softbox. Very fast to do. It just literally, the diffuser panel fits over nice and snug. Bend the bottom ones into position, and there. Look at that, lovely and taut. Uh, so we've got two um, two parts of the diffuser. You've got obviously the main metal plate in the centre, and then we've got the outer diffuser panel there. And I, I don't know about you, but I would say that is one awesome mobile solution uh, to be carrying around with you to do engagement shoots urban uh, portraits on the streets and in fact I do do urban portraits uh, I run a course check out my website and have a look at the dates that are there I will be using this setup and uh, just so you know I'm actually being lit by two ice lights I've got one over in that corner one over in that corner uh, light them even and I use the ice lights on location as well so we, we do some uh, fun stuff um, along with a model we bring along so uh, do check out my website look up the course page, Urban Portraits, I run them in London and Reading, everyone's welcome to come along, we'll have a, an awesome time. So, here it is, uh, nice setup. again, you can keep it in the boot of your car, it's going to take up no room at all. It's even good to have in the studio as just using it as a beauty dish, and it's something that um, I, I'm going to do myself, use it in the studio as a beauty dish if I'm using Flash. So there you go, a quick tutorial on the, um, this is the, the 20 inch uh, rapid box from uh, Westco. Look them up, do a search on uh, the web. Um, I know uh, Wex uh, stocks them, so check out Wex the price. Price wise, um, you're looking at around about sort of 100 and, uh, £150-ish, uh, give or take, so a bit lower or a bit higher, depending on where you shop. Uh, but I would say it's, it's very well worth it. Good material it's made out of, it's not flimsy material, it's a good solid material so it isn't going to rip with it keep opening and shutting. Um, obviously the bars inside, they are uh, extremely strong bars, uh, they're not something like an umbrella that is just going to, let's just take this off, they're not, not like an umbrella where you're, um, you're going to bend them, they're, they're a lot thicker. Because obviously it's, it's in the style of an umbrella, the way it closes up, but all the rods are very thick and uh, very supportive, so 
that isn't going to break anytime soon. So there you go, hope you've enjoyed this quick tutorial. Uh, I will uh, grab the camera now, we'll just go for a nice close up just so you can see uh, the actual setup from behind. Thanks for watching, check out my other videos and come back soon. See ya.